Welcome to the Layer 2 Autotagger product video. My name is Lars Falinski and I'm working as a sales consultant for Layer 2. Layer 2 is a Microsoft Gold certified partner and offers products in the fields of data integration and knowledge management for SharePoint, as well as additional consulting services in the fields of SharePoint, .NET programming and IT infrastructure. The Layer 2 Autotagger for Microsoft SharePoint is a component of the Layer 2 knowledge management suit for SharePoint, but can be used separately as well. It categorizes SharePoint items and documents automatically in the background using taxonomy-based managed metadata and classification rules organized in the SharePoint Term Store. The automatic categorization of SharePoint content is based on the metadata that is centrally provided by the Term Store, its synonyms and optional classification rules. Besides, SharePoint properties, document, content is also taken into account. Before you start to get into the Layer 2 Autotagger, I would like to recommend our videos of the Layer 2 Taxonomy Manager and the Layer 2 Tag Suggester. While the Layer 2 Tag Suggester offers recommendations of assigned metadata, the Layer 2 Autotagger is applying those recommendations automatically. In this video, I will show you how to categorize documents of a document library automatically with a Layer 2 Autotagger. Suitable approach while migrating thousands of documents to SharePoint. Let's start again with the side of our sales and marketing department and choose a document library, Marketing. For the site collection of this website, the Knowledge Management Suit Autotagger by Layer 2 feature is activated. Several new documents were added to the Marketing section, but no manual categorization took place. That means that the column Marketing Category is empty. After uploading new documents, it can take a little while until the crawler is gathering those documents and categorizing them automatically. That can, however, depend on the configuration of the Autotagger. For this demo, I configured the Autotagger in a way that the crawl of the document library will be started at short intervals. After refreshing the page, we can see that metadata were automatically added to those new documents in the background. To determine specific metadata, the Autotagger analyzes the title and the content of the document, as well as the already existing metadata and the context of the document, for example, the library or folder. The Autotagger matches this information, for example, the file name, with the given categories. In our demonstration, we will match the content with our term set, Sales and Marketing. The Autotagger can also use and analyze classification rules created optionally with the Layer 2 Taxonomy Manager. Those rules are building logical expressions which give a detailed description of the content classified with a certain tag. For example, whenever the terms Sales and Marketing occur, but not the term Direct Sales. By creating classification rules, the auto-tagging will work more precisely. To implement time-based background activities, a SharePoint timer job is used. Such a timer job, the Layer 2 Knowledge Management Suite Autotagger timer job for site collections, was created while installing the Autotagger. You can find the timer job within your job definitions of the SharePoint Central Administration. The Autotagger timer job is running once every hour per default. The timer job determines all site collections of the SharePoint farm, which have activated the Autotagger feature. Subsequently, the timer job evaluates the configuration list items and starts, if necessary, the crawl and therefore the auto-categorization process within the site collection. The interval of the timer job can be adjusted and the timer job can be started manually as well. Now I will show you how to configure the Autotagger with the configuration list in combination with the scope list. While activating the Autotagger feature within a site collection, two lists will be created on the root level. The Knowledge Management Suit Autotagger Configuration List and the Knowledge Management Suit Autotagger Scopes List. Those two lists are required to configure the Autotagger. Within the Scope List, you'll have the possibility to include or exclude specific areas or specific content such as websites, lists, columns and content types from Autotagging. In our example, I simply want to auto-categorize lists or more specifically libraries with the name Marketing. The configuration list item, Sales and Marketing, is assigned to this scope item. Several items can be created within those two lists. Therefore, various iteration intervals of the Autotagger can be configured for different areas or different content within a portal. A detailed description of the Autotagger configuration possibilities can be downloaded from our website or you can contact us directly. 
It is recommended to use a Layer 2 Autotag in combination with the Layer 2 Taxonomy Manager as well as a Layer 2 Tag Suggester. That way, you can check tag suggestions manually and create classification rules based on those results with the Layer 2 Taxonomy Manager. The main objective of using the Tag Suggester is to improve the quality of the content categorization. If you reach proper results, it might be useful to categorize the content automatically in the background with a Layer 2 Autotagger. This should happen on a regular, recurrent basis because taxonomies within the term store are subject to changes as well. The result is a current classified content. Documents can now be found quicker and more precisely. Within the Layer 2 Knowledge Management suite, there are more components available which increase the benefit of the content classification, for example, tag clouds, index and additional navigations. This will be shown in further videos of the Layer 2 Knowledge Management suite. The Layer 2 Autotagger can be downloaded after registration at the Layer 2 homepage. It can be used for free with some shareware limitations. To have the full functionality, you have to purchase a license. Thank you for joining. Please visit www.layer2.de/en/products for more information.